All licenses are a fraud. Brace yourself. Let's go. Book reference. The term license is defined in law as, quote, a permit to do something illegal. What? Hold up. Run that back. The term license is defined in law as a permit to do something illegal. Somebody might be like, well, that's your opinion. See Black's Law's Dictionary, 6th or 7th edition. Receipts. Book reference. License. Certificate or the document itself which gives permission. Are you listening? Therefore, all licenses are permits to violate the only real law. Inalienable rights are the rights bestowed by God at birth upon all living men. All other laws are subordinate to God's law. All other laws are subordinate to God's law. Bing bong. The controlling de facto government wants us to rely on their laws, so they demand that we apply for a license. You see the trick? For example, a driver's license, a marriage license, a gun license, etc. Anything that they say requires a license. That's pretty much everything. Somebody might ask, well how do they get away with it then? They succeed in this intimidation through the corporate courts and police enforcement by so-called officers who have been brainwashed and reinforced by mandatory training programs. Wow. Book reference. States cannot license rights. A state may not impose a charge for the enjoyment of a right granted by the federal constitution. Did you hear that? No state may convert any secure liberty into a privilege and issue a license and a fee for it. Maduke first can. If the state does convert your rights into a privilege, and issues a license and a fee for it, you can ignore the license and a fee and engage the right with impunity. Shuttlesworth vs. Birmingham. Receipts. Remember earlier how I mentioned the marriage license? Check this out. Those who apply for and marry pursuant to a marriage license have added a third party to their marriage contract. The third party is the master. By and through his agent, the corporate state. What? The marriage license gives the state the legal right to decide the fate of the husband, wife, and possessions they procure during their marriage. Keep in mind, licenses are legal, not lawful. Should the marriage fail, their divorce must now be decided by and through the state's corporate court by a corporate judge. And the judge's first and foremost concern is the interest of the state. You didn't need a license, but since you went and got one, the corporate state became your master and you the slave.